Hello everyone, John Cookie here, and welcome to another video tutorial. Today's video tutorial will be about how to make Roblox thumbnails in Paint.net. This has been requested by a lot of you, so I decided to make it and show it to you guys. To begin, first, you will need to download Paint.net. You can get it for free by going to www.getpaint.net. When the website opens, go to and click where it says download. Scroll down and there should be a link to where it says paint.net. You can click on the link and then you begin downloading it. Make sure to download it to your desktop to make things more easier. Once you finish downloading, you see a zip file that says getpaint.net. Extract the zip file and then open the extracted zip file. There should be a paint.net installer. Click on it and let it load up. It should bring you to the installation screen. Now just begin installing it. Once it's done installing, select finish and open paint.net. As you can see, paint.net is very similar to Photoshop in some sense. It's a pretty impressive and simple free tool for people who don't have the money to buy Photoshop and want to start out with something that's pretty good to use. I began using this a while back before I had Photoshop too. So to start off with this, select image, resize, and change the size to 1280 by 720 the most recommended resolution for a thumbnail. Next thing you should do is open up Roblox Studio, go to any of your places, and start taking screenshots of things you want to put in your thumbnail. Don't forget that you can also use a green screen background on individual objects so then later on you can crop it out when you put it in paint.net. Now open the folder where you saved the screenshots and drag it to paint.net. Once you dragged it, create the new layer. If you need to, just expand or resize it so it will fit the screen completely. Do this the same with any other screenshots that you took. I will now show you how to remove the background for individual objects if you happen to take screenshots with a green screen background. Now I just moved the individual object in the place that I want it to be and voila. Then afterwards, the last thing that I need is just to add a text so it can represent what my video is about. And here it is. Well, that's all, guys. If you liked this video, remember to give it a like, comment, or subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on my Twitter, which the link will be in the description below. So thank you guys for watching, take care, and see you all later.